Our Constitution is something special. One document signed over 200 years ago still orders the way our government works. American citizens learn about the U.S. Constitution in school because we're expected to live according to it. We're expected to elect our representatives and hold them accountable to what the Constitution says. One of the best parts of our Constitution is that it requires all branches of government, legislative, executive, and judicial, to be in balance. This way, no one branch, congressmen, presidents, or judges, can exert too much control over the nation. In Congress, I started the Article I Caucus, a group of representatives urging the legislative branch to fulfill its role as a check and balance against the executive branch. Congress's job is especially important when it comes to America's veterans. Our nation has failed at this before. Heroes coming back from Vietnam received disrespect and disregard. More recently, veterans of all ages have faced a VA healthcare system that fails to meet their needs. These men and women sacrificed so much to guard our way of life. Our Constitution may only be a piece of paper, but our veterans made it so much more than that. They gave their youth, their families, their lives to protect what was written on that piece of paper. Our way of life and our way of government survive today thanks to them. Our veterans fought for our freedom. In return, we must provide them with the quality health care they deserve. I've recently signed on to a bill called the Veterans Mental Health Care Access Act. When the VA health care system fails our veterans, they should have the choice to seek care elsewhere. This bill gives them the freedom to seek non-VA mental health services that meet their needs. I hope this legislation becomes law because our veterans deserve it and so much more.